Floyd C. Yes, yeah. Oh, uh, oh. The show floor looks a lot like our studio, though. What are you gonna check out first, Riley? The COVID exhibit. <laughs> So far, there isn't actually a ton of CES news since most of the big press conferences are happening tomorrow, but Samsung started things off early by announcing the world's first 4K 240Hz monitor, the Neo G8, also with a quantum mini LED backlight, which will help contrast and color accuracy, I think? James isn't here to correct me. Do you know about that, Jono? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. You use TVs. Samsung also showed off a second-gen smart monitor with an included magnetic webcam and support for cloud gaming services, so you can finally throw that nasty PC in the trash. Gross. Samsung TVs are getting some upgrades. There will be some models with no bezels at all, as well as support for 4K 144Hz content, which will come in handy for the cloud gaming support also in the new TVs. But it's CES, so Samsung left room for some real wacky stuff too, like the Eco Remote that now harvests Wi-Fi radio signals as well as solar energy to power itself. And of course, the crucial NFT management feature, which will let you display your NFT art on the TV. This one is a particularly beautiful piece. The, the look in the ape's eyes is, I just, I just can't describe how stupid it is. Microsoft apparently thought the world rolled into 2022 without much fanfare, so they thought they'd make things a bit more interesting by refusing to fix a date check bug in the company's exchange servers. The systems were unable to parse the new confusing date of January 1st, 2020, there's too many twos, which got emails stuck in the queue, crashing servers and sending IT admins scrambling to figure out if it was really the Russians or Y2K, the sequel. Revengeance. Why 2K2? Too? too many twos. Many thought the bug was a security issue since one of the workarounds involved disabling anti-malware services, but as Microsoft confirmed when they issued an emergency patch, it wasn't anything so dangerous. You can go back to worrying about the other terrifying things on your mind now. And Dell is introducing more weird concept products, this time under its Alienware brand, Project Nix is essentially a powerful household server that would run games and let users stream them to any number of devices, a smart TV, a laptop, phones or tablets, all while using the same controller. And Nix could apparently do this for multiple users at once, running up to four games simultaneously. Now this sounds pretty wild, but I'm gonna reserve judgment until they release a trailer depicting an incredibly beautiful family that are all massive gaming nerds pushing each other around the house to play their game on different screens. They have so much fun together. I wish I was with them. <laughs> now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by, that's right, you guessed it, Seasonic, who always comes back to sponsor our CS coverage. Why? because they're confident that they make the best damn power supplies ever. I mean, look at the Prime TX 1000 watt model. With an 80 plus titanium rating for excellent efficiency, a fully modular design for excellent cable manageability, and hybrid fan control of its fluid dynamic fan bearings for excellent fan noise controllability, it's a no brainer choice for high performance systems, especially when you factor in the 12 year warranty. Whew. So get yourself a Seasonic power supply at seasonic.com or the link below. John, can I tell you something? Sometimes it's hard to keep the bits quick. I keep, I, and I keep that inside most of the time. Two years after hitting a $1 trillion market cap and one year after hitting a $2 trillion cap, Apple has become the first American company to hit $3 trillion. Although they, you're happy about this. Money. Yay, the economy. Although they dropped back below the mark shortly afterwards. Seems like they'll hit it again though, since the company has tripled its valuation in under four years. It's like my personal boycott isn't doing anything. We call Tim Cook, Tim Apple all the time. It's like, nobody cares. They'll just keep buying. Take my money, Tim Apple. Take it. It's you, you're the problem. AT&T and Verizon have rejected a request from the Federal Aviation Administration to continue delaying their rollout of 5G C-band frequencies, saying the FAA's concerns over aircraft interference aren't actually concerning because the same technology is used in much of Europe and quote, the laws of physics are the same in the United States and France. It seems, it seems like an obvious thing, but these days you really have to spell it out for some people. The latest gaming company to express interest in NFTs is Square Enix, who didn't announce any specific plans, but did confirm in a letter written by President Yosuke Matsuda that they're gonna do something, since NFTs are, and this is a paraphrase on my part, so hot right now. Matsuda did acknowledge reservations expressed by gamers who play to have fun, but there are also gamers who play to contribute to their own crypto meta wallets. 
And they deserve to give Square Enix money too. I want my chocobos. It's the Christmas spirit. A faulty software update to HP Enterprise servers at Japan's Kyoto University caused the permanent erasure of 77 terabytes of research data, as well as its backups, affecting about 34 million files from 14 research groups. They didn't say what they were researching, but it is Japan, so it may have been more stuff like the lickable flavor screen we talked about last week. And if that never comes to market, I'm gonna be stuck licking my screen and tasting absolutely nothing. It sucks. Every day, this is my life. I'll put wasabi on your screen. Oh, thanks Andy, that'll help. And of course Kohler is using CES to talk up more of its weird bathroom tech, like a bathtub kit that will let you tell a voice assistant to fill the tub to a certain level for you, as well as its stillness bath, featuring custom scents, water vapor, and RGB LEDs. We've seen all this before, but 2022 is apparently the year it actually hits the market. So it's a sign, this is the year we get fancy baths. Things are gonna get better. That's what that, if you got the fancy baths, positive thinking. Other things will follow. And I'm positive you should show up tomorrow for more tech news. Yeah, that's right, we're doing five episodes this week. If you don't come back, you will be less informed and you may even regret it and I'll miss you.